Hello everyone and welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, we're going to be starting a new series titled Answer Anthe. Today, we'll be looking at the Akash National Talent Hunt Examination, which is a scholarship examination for students. We'll be looking at some sample questions of the Anthe examination, particularly for students of grade 9, and uh, we're going to be dealing with the subject called mental ability. So this particular exam uh, tests students across physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and mental ability. So um, let's start off with a question from mental ability. So here's our first question. If X stands for add, Y stands for subtract, Z stands for divide, and P stands for multiply, then the value of within brackets 5P3, bracket closed, Y6, X21, Z7 is 18, 16, 12, 24. So basically the idea is this particular expression, we're going to rewrite it in terms of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So Within the brackets, it's 5P3, and P stands for multiplication, so it'll be 5 into 3. We close the bracket, we have Y, which stands for addition, so plus 6. X sta Actually, Y stands for subtraction, so what I just wrote is incorrect. Let's go to the eraser. As you can see, Y stands for subtract, so Y6 means minus 6. X stands for addition, so that's plus 21. Z stands for divide, so that's divided by 7. So, um, in order to solve this question, we need to understand the baud mass rule for arithmetic operations. B stands for bracket, so always solve the bracket first if you have something complex. Of means multiply. Division. Um, and multiplication are coupled together, so you have to do both. So D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. All right, so using this, um, first of all, we have a bracket, so we solve whatever is in the bracket which is 5 times 3, that gives you 15. Now, um, we have uh, a div division, an addition, and a subtraction outside the bracket. So we will go for division first. That means 21 divided by 7 would give you 3. So 15 minus 6 plus 3. So then we can do addition and subtraction together. So 15 minus 6 gives you 9. 9 plus 3 gives you 12. So therefore, as you can see, option 3, 12, turns out to be the right answer. The other options are incorrect, because if you get one of the other options as the answer, that, that means you did not use the correct method of baud mass. So using that, so basically the idea is uh, we just have to substitute the symbol for the actual operator, and then use baud mass to solve the expression given. And by doing that, we got 12 as the answer, which is option 3. Let's look at another question of mental ability. One day in the evening before sunset, two friends, Rajiv and Indrajit, were talking to each other face to face. If Indrajit's shadow was exactly to his right side, which direction was Rajiv facing? So, um, we're looking at a question which involves um, finding out directions. Now, let's read the question um, properly. So, in the evening before sunset, so we are looking at sunset where the sun will be in the west. So, evening time before sunset, that's when the sun is in the west. Um, we have two friends talking to each other face to face. Now, that means we can consider Rajiv and Indrajit standing next to each other. Rajiv is facing Indrajit, Indrajit is facing Rajiv, so they're talking face to face. Now we know in the question that Indrajit's shadow was exactly to his right side. 
So that means um, the shadow is to his right side. That means the sun is to his left side. Now we know that this is evening. This is in the evening. So therefore, the sun is in the west. So that means Indrajit's left side is west. Also means that Indrajit's right side would be east. So basically, Indrajit is facing north, while uh, Indrajit's back is facing south. Now we know that Indrajit is facing Rajiv and Rajiv is facing Indrajit. So therefore, if Indrajit is facing north, then Rajiv, who is opposite him and is talking to him face to face, would be facing south. So south turns out to be the right option. Option one north is the direction that Indrajit faces, west is the direction of the sun, and data inade inadequate would be incorrect because by using the da data we have, we found out that Rajiv is facing south. So option two south turns out to be the right option. Let's look at another question. Complete the following number series. 80, 50, 71, 59, 55, 75, blank, 100. Now, if you were to look at it directly, then that would be minus 30. Then you would have a plus 21. Then you would have a minus um, 12. then a minus 4, then you would have a plus 20. So as you can see, that does not form a series. The differences between the numbers adjacent to each other do not form a series. So we have 80, 50, 71, 59, 55, 75, blank, 100. So First, we checked out the differences between the adjacent numbers, and we found out that they do not form any sort of relation. So how do we understand whether and how to identify the numbers in the series and then to find the missing number? Well, if um, the adjacent numbers don't show a relation, then it's very likely that the number after the adjacent number would show a relation with the first number. So for example, we would relate 80 and 71, there's a difference of 9. If we relate 50 and 59, there's a difference of 9. Similarly, if we go from 71 to 55, there is a difference of um, there's 5, and then there's a 1, so 16. Similarly, if we go from 59 to 75, Again, there's a difference of 16. So as you can see, we can sort of understand a relation. But for those of you who still don't see it, the first and the third number um, are offset by a difference of 9, which is 3 squared. Um, similarly, the second and the fourth are offset by 3 squared. And minus 16, 16 is 4 squared. So therefore, there is a, an offset there as well. So basically, these two numbers, so we have basically, it's two separate series, 80, 71, 55, blank, 50, 59, 75, 100. So it's basically two series uh, intersected with each other, where the first, so in the completed series, the first, third, fifth, and seventh numbers, so like the odd numbers would have a specific um, criteria and the even numbers would have another specific criteria. And in this case, the criteria or the actual difference between the numbers turns out to be the same. So therefore, um, 3 squared, 4 squared, etc. So basically now, if we can find the difference between 75 and 100, um, that would be plus 25, which in this case is 5 squared. So we had 3 squared, then 4 squared, then 5 squared. So there is an increasing amount with respect to the, um, the difference between the numbers, which is basically the square of certain numbers. So we know that 
from 75 to 100, it's a jump of 25, which is 5 squared. That means from 55 to blank, there would be a reduction of 25 units. So that means 5 squared again. So all we have to do is subtract 25 from 55. So 55 minus 25 would give you 30. So therefore, option 330 turns out to be the right option. The other options turn out to be incorrect because we, when finding the number series, we fi found the relation between the numbers where in this particular case, we had odd numbers having one relation, even numbers having a separate relation. So while the um, concept of squares is the same being added or subtracted, so by using that, we found out that 5 square is the amount that needs to be subtracted from 55 in order to fill our gap. So therefore, 30 would be the number because 55 minus 25 gives you 30. So option 330 turns out to be the right option. Now let's look at another question. If the third day of a month is Monday, which of the following would be the fourth day? from the 21st of that month. Now, how do we solve this? Well, we're told that the third day of a month is Monday. So let's write down the first seven days of that month. So we know that the third day is a Monday, which means the second day is a Sunday. And the first day is a Saturday. Similarly, 4 is Tuesday, 5 is Wednesday, 6 is Thursday, and 7 is Friday. So, the seventh day is Friday. The seventh day of the month is Friday, and so when we add 7 to it, we would also get that the 14th day is also a Friday as well as the 21st day of that month. Our question is to find out what is the fourth day from the 21st of the month, which means we need to find out what day is the 21st of the month, which we now know to be Friday. So we know that Friday is the 21st. We just have to take five more day, four more days, 22, 23, 24, and 25. So 22 is Saturday, 23 is Sunday, 24 is Monday, and as you've guessed already, the 25th of the month, which is the fourth day after the 21st of the month, would be a Tuesday. So option one Tuesday turns out to be the right option. The other options would be incorrect <clears throat> in this scenario. Now let's look at the final question for today. In a row of girls, Nitya and Suganya occupy the ninth place from the right end and the tenth place from the left end, respectively. If they interchange their places, then Nitya and Suganya would occupy the seventeenth place from the right and the eighteenth place from the left, respectively. We need to find out how many girls are there in the row. So we're looking at a ranking test question. So let's read the first statement. Nitya and Suganya occupy the ninth place from the right end and the tenth place from the left hand, res respectively. So, if we have a row of girls, Suganya would be at the tenth place from the left, and Nitya would be at the ninth place from the right. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to interchange their places. So Suganya goes into where Nithya used to be, Nithya goes into where Suganya used to be. So this is how the order looks like. Now, in the second question, as they said, it says you have to interchange them. And once you interchange them, then you see that Nithya's place is 17th from the right. And Suganya's place is 18th from the left. Now what does that mean? It means that 
the spot that Nithya used to occupy used to be the ninth place from the right and the 18th place from the left, while the place that Sugenya first occupied used to be the 10th place from the left and the 17th place from the right. So basically, we're counting to the left, to the right, and to the left. So basically, using that, we get two coordinates for, from both sides for the same spot. And using that, we can find out the answer. Let's use 18 and 9. We need to find out um, the total number of curls in the row. And let's use Nitya's original position. Now, Nitya's original position was ninth from the right, so we write 9. And when Suganya occupied it, the same spot is said to be the 18th spot from the left. Now remember, this particular spot, let's say we have six um, people in a spot, and we take this spot. This is the third spot from the right and the fourth spot from the left. So the formula for number of people in the row, in a, in a row or line, would be adding the positions from both sides, which would be 3 plus 4. However, you know that 3 plus 4 is 7. And the reason why 7 comes out here is because we're counting the same spot twice, so we will have to subtract 1 from it. And that would give you the actual number of people, which is 6. So this is the um, analogy that we're using here. So for the number of girls in the question, we need to find out the number of girls in the row. We know that Nitya used to occupy the ninth place from the right. She exchanged her place with Suganya. So Suganya now standing in Nitya's original place would be 18th from the left. So it'll be 9 plus 18 for the same spot, minus 1. Now, 18 plus 9 would give you 27 minus 1, so the correct amount of girls standing in the row would be option 3, 26. So the other options would turn out to be incorrect, but option 3, 26 would be the right option. Now that concludes this particular episode of Answer Anthe. We hope you found this episode interesting and informative. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate your partner in education. If you want to watch more videos about ANTHE or any of our other um, competitive examinations, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next webisode, take care, stay alert. Bye-bye for now.